Hi, this is Petrelli here. Thank you for coming back for another Brompton videos. Today, we're going to talk about the three most essential upgrade for your Brompton. Not sure if you already got your bike or you're new to this bike. Um, if you're looking for upgrades, there are plenty of upgrades on the market that you can actually buy. But there are three of them that I would suggest you to get first before you go on to anything else. Let's dive into it. So the first essential upgrade for your Brompton is the hinge clamps. I couldn't emphasize this more than enough. The original Brompton one works fine. They are there, they secure the hinges. The original Brompton hinge plate are made of aluminum plates. The handle is made from plastic, while the main bolt is in steels. The biggest problem with the original hinge clamp is that when you're trying to unscrew, some newer riders, where they unscrew until the whole thing just popped out. And often enough, when you're trying to screw in the hinge clamp, because of the plates, it's free flow. It can turn left, turn right, all at once, right? And it'll get stuck. And you may need an extra hand to get into place to secure the fold, which is a bit troublesome. And sometimes when you try to unscrew, the plate will just stuck to the frame. It just won't come out. With most of the modern aftermarket hinge clamp set, the plate and the bolt were actually built as a unit. So when you unscrew from the levers, it will naturally pull out the plates together as well. So it will never be stuck at the frame anymore. The aftermarket plates were genuinely made out of aluminium as well. I do believe the aluminium is the best materials for this kind of use. The aftermarket aluminium plates are genuinely made being offset. So one side of the clamp is taller, the other side of the clamp is slightly shorter. So if you get a setting rise and you're trying to unscrew the levers to fold the bike, genuinely the plate will never be spinning. So it will always be in position for the next time when you want to fold and secure the clamp. Majority of the aftermarket hinge clamp set would have stopper designed to stop the hinge clamp set being over extracted. So it will never pop out completely. So it will be always be part of your bike. If you set it right, the moment it stops, it should be just right to open the hinge and fold and unfold your bike. Okay. The second most essential upgrade would have been the suspension block. The original suspension block is made of plastic and often they are not strong enough, even the firm edition. The suspension block is supposed to give you the suspension when it is needed, right? When the rider's weight is over the limit, the suspension block will just get compressed before you even start to ride. That's not going to be good. You see here, the suspension block is already in fully compressed mode before it hits any of the bumps to activate this function. So you will naturally want to choose the harder, the right suspension block for yourself. The stronger suspension will just genuinely give you more kick and supporting, won't waste so much energy and give you the support for a faster ride. There's the other video that I made before with a rider review on one of the suspension block. Perhaps you can follow the link above and see if it works for you. So the third essential upgrade, I'm stuck in between the frame wheel straps or the Brompton Easy wheels. If you already got the rollable Brompton Easy wheels, I can I think we can settle that for now. But it's a certain it's a good thing to upgrade to. But if you already have that, you should consider the frame wheel strap to be your third most essential upgrade. So normally when you fold a bike, you will have to push down your seat post until the stop disc is pressed against the seat post in order to stop it from opening. But having the steep post all the way down, it makes you really hard to push the bike. For myself, I'm 5 foot 10 and I have to bend down a little bit to push the bike. When the seat post is up, it's much easier to push the bike. You can even run around with it. But sometimes when you don't want to lift up your bike a little bit, the bike will just unfold itself if the seat post is not pushed all the way down. It causes a lot of problem for us. With the help of the wheel frame strap, you can simply tie your rear wheel to the frame and you will be able to push your bike around while the seat post is all the way up. I often find it very useful when I have to walk up a staircase carrying the bike or walk over some obstacles. The rear frame strap can also be used as a frame protector as well. It just stops the cable from rubbing onto your frame. So these are the three most essential items to upgrade for your Brompton. I hope you find it useful. So what have you upgraded for your Brompton? Why not share a bit at the comment below. Again, thank you for watching until now. You guys are great. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until then, I shall see you tomorrow. So for the meantime, dash.